All right, YouTubers, I'm working on a 99 F-150 four-wheel drive. Had a bad oil seal in the rear axle and uh, got that out. Uh, here's a tool I rented from AutoZone. It's just a puller, goes inside, tighten up the bolt with a washer, add on a slide hammer. I got that from AutoZone 2, about 18 wraps, and the bearing and seal came out. Uh, bearing looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Seal on the other hand, which was my whole problem, not such good shape. And it made a heck of a mess on the inside of the whole hub assembly. The calipers all covered in grease. I've been working on cleaning that up. The biggest reason that I want to make this video is I broke a pin. So, got on YouTube checked a bunch of videos sorry about the video and this differential has a pin that holds it in holds this pinion shaft in you can see it got a little hole there uh, pin goes through that hole the bolt is only partially threaded pin just drops right in this hole there holds the gears in and the pin goes through that hole well simple enough a bunch of YouTube videos showing you how to simply take that out slide the pin out hunky door you're good to go sorry about all the traffic in the background I live on a main road and this is the way every day sounds in my driveway well when I took the bolt out what I ended up with is this see if I can get some focus just the bolt threads there's supposed to be a little pin on the end of that that goes through the shaft well it was left inside the housing inside there unable to reach it got on YouTube how the hell you get this thing out no ideas there is a kit you can buy that has a bolt similar to this but it's hollow in the center I forget the name of the kit there's a hole in the center and you just run a drill bit in there, tap it out, put an easy out and an hour and a half later you're done. If you can find one. It's uh, Friday night when I was working on this and I wouldn't have it till Tuesday and this truck's got to be on the road today. So what did I do? I took some super glue, believe it or not. I got these handy little q-tips on a stick regular q-tip work these just happen to have a wooden dowel on them and uh, cleaned up See, that's what I get to listen to thanks for all you guys with motorcycles that sound like that um, cleaned it up real good used a little brake clean in the hole cleaned it up dried it out probably went through 20 of these little q-tips and Got my super glue out because I, I was afraid to put JB Weld in there so it might seal up the, the threads and then I would be screwed. So, tried it. Put, actually glued the Q-tip on there, the wooden pit part. Just the wooden tip of it. It actually worked and I could spin that whole pin. I could spin it, move it in an out an eighth of an inch, but I could not get it out of that stinking hole. So, I got frustrated. Put some super glue on the end of my bolt. Just right on the little end there. Screwed it in there and went in the house to look at YouTube some more. Frustrated to no end. About two hours later, I came out and just ever so gently backed this little bolt out with an 8mm socket. And lo and behold, the pin came about three quarters of the way out of that hole. All I had to do then was get a hold of it with another little bit of super glue on one of these little wooden sticks. Actually, I'm lying forgot I used a nail took the end of about an eight penny nail fits right in there put super glue on it got a hold of the end of that pin enough and lickety split it came out couldn't believe it probably got lucky more than good um, figure JB well just a dab of it on the end of that broken bolt screw it in leave it overnight and back that sucker out would probably work be the ticket had to do it again I probably would um, went and bought one of these locking pins, a couple, three bucks. First differential I've ever fooled with, but I would never 
put a used pin back in considering this one somehow broke. Has me concerned why it broke, don't know. Got the axle out, pulled a little C-clip out, plenty of videos on that to show you how to pull the C-clips out, not a big deal. Push the axle in a little bit, push the C-clip out. Got the C-clip out, they just slip right off, no big deal. So, hope it helps somebody someday. I got a bunch of cleaning to do before I put this thing back together. If you have any questions, please comment. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm gonna splice this piece in. I wanted to show you a little better picture. Here's the actual hole where the bolt came out of. Um, and like I said, it was broken. Here's the pinion shaft. So I slid it back in there, it just slides back and forth. Um, here is the new bolt that I bought. And there's the one that came out. So obviously a piece missing. There were just a few threads still stuck on the end of the piece that broke off here. So it would not back out of that wretched hole. And like I said, I used super glue, put it on the end of the bolt, right on the very end there, screwed it in, left it set a couple hours, gently backed it out, and lo and behold, it pulled the rest of that remaining pin out of there. Um, I would not put this back together without getting a new pin. They are, what did I pay for that thing? A whopping $2.79. It is a Dorman product. You get them online. I got mine at my local parts store. Uh, let's see, get my camera working. And there's your part number for the Dorman pin. It's a pinion shaft locking bolt, I believe is what they call it. So that's really it. Um, getting the axle out, a lot of videos on that. Um, but that is what happened to my bolt. No idea why. A little bit concerned that maybe there's something wrong with the rear end that caused it. I did not have to force that bolt out. It came out really easy. Didn't have to use pipe or impact wrench or anything on it. Backed it out and it was snapped with about a half a thread left on it, which would not allow me to get it out. Glued it together to the end and it did back it out enough that I was able to do it. I think a tiny dab of JB Weld would probably work on it better, but super glue work for me hope it works for you good luck